Hi, everybody. Hello, Evolution family. It is Thursday, September 12, 2019. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. Pacific time. Pacific time. Jose Lambert here of Archer Travel Service, and we are broadcasting live from the Archer Travel Main Corporate Headquarters in beautiful La Crescenta, California. Uh, in our, well, it's not new anymore, but in our Archer Travel Media Center. I want to welcome you back to uh, back to basics, day six. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to cover closing and some marketing. Uh, this is, uh, and I want to welcome everybody to the Evolution Interactive Training Session. We are continuing to go cover some of the very first steps that an agent goes through to when they do their first booking and so on and help start their personal travel business. Um, and today what we're going to do, we're going to pick up where we left off last week. I showed you we did fair quotes, which you need to know, right? And then we got to the part where and then you book it. All right, so we're going to pick it up right where, where you're going to get the booking and, you, and you've gotten, you know, they said, okay, here's the credit card. Let's book it. Let's book the cruise. Let's book the all-inclusive or whatever. We're going to start there. And then, meaning that you've booked your first, you know, clients and you're all excited. You really want to get this business going. I'm going to give you some marketing tips. We're going to see a video that Ron produced about three or four years ago, which really has some great information in it. And, uh, and that's going to be it. So, but first, before we start, let's see who's in the room and let's say hello to all the evolution agents that arrive early. All right, Miss Donna Fontaine is here. Jennifer Whitehead from the UK. You know, God bless you, Jennifer. I know it's like almost midnight there, and you were here yesterday. So I know I probably put you to sleep, but, but that, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but, but thanks for joining. And, and again, all a big shout out to all the UK agents, all the agents in Australia, New Zealand, um, especially for new Australian agents. You know that Dave is, has left Australia. Dave will be back here with us on Monday. Um, so I, I hope you guys really were nice to him and, and, and you know, talk to him a lot to get a lot of knowledge because Dave has a lot of travel knowledge, travel agent knowledge. Okay. Cheryl Shires, Milton Jackson, um, Kathy Sutphin, uh, Trina Parker, Sean Rutledge, Teresa Lawyer. Who else do I see here? Uh, James Clark, Monica Wright Carter, Trina Parker, Lavisi Le Howard is having her 10th uh, <laughs> Tenth wedding anniversary. I'm sorry. It's Thursday. It'll be by Thursday. But, but, you know. Anyway. Um, phone is almost dead. I don't know what that means. Uh, Annie, Annie Wong and Paulette Holmes. Well, thank you all for for coming in and and supporting us and and being here. And I hope you guys get a lot out of it. So, like I said, um, these back to basic training sessions uh, they happen every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And they're for new Evolution team members, returning agents, sponsors, and consultants. Last week we covered fair quotes what you need to know. In that training, we showed you how to present the fair quote to your client, whether it be a, a cruise quote or a fair quote, and, and how to book it. So we're gonna start where we, right there, and we're gonna start there. So, you know, highly recommend that these new agents review these trainings, and please have pen and pencil and paper ready. You take down some notes, and if you have any questions, we have Jess Dean here from the Media Center, so you can type your question in, um, and we'll get it answered right away. Yesterday, there were no questions. I don't know. We. We looked back at the comments and everybody was like, hi, Jose, hi, Jose, hi, Jose. And we're like, right? That was always so, I was like, okay, no, no questions. So I guess you guys know everything. But uh, if you have any questions today, just type them up and she will answer them. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And during the sessions, if you have any questions, blah, 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 blah. Okay, before we go, let's start and review a little bit about the Back to Basics Day 5. Fair quotes, what you need to know. So let's go to the PowerPoint, to the very first slide over. Okay. Remember last week, um, you meet the client. So this is like, let's say Mr. and Mrs. Client come to you. They're, they're having a um, you know, 25th wedding anniversary and they want to go on the World Caribbean Anthem of the Seas. You meet the client, you qualify them, you get to know their needs, their, the client's travel needs. Then you email the client the quote, follow up, not by email, but by phone in 24 to 48 hours. Go through the terms and conditions. If they're happy with everything, then you book it. Okay, let's go to the next one. This would be for the land air quote. Let's say instead of going on a, on a cruise, they want to go to an all-inclusive in Cancun. Again, you meet the client, qualify them, you present them the quote. Email the client the quote, follow up not by email, follow up by phone in about 24 to 48 hours because the quote's only good for that long. Then you book it. All right, so now what do you do, right? What's the next step? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's go to the next slide. How to fill out the credit card authorization form. This is very important. You must have a credit card authorization form for everything that you book. Everything. I don't care if it's a, a rent a car for $16 for one day, you have to have a credit card authorization form. 
Now, remember what we talked about in the first five ba back to basics. You're going to have to be working with people that you know. Do not take any new clients that are strangers or you don't know them. You want to work with people that are friends, family members, associates, or referrals from your family members, but that they know those people, okay? Let's go to the next one. Okay, there's two ways to fill out the credit card authorization form, all right? One way is when you deal with everything that's in Vax Vacation Access, okay? This is very important. Everything that you deal in Vax Vacation Access, which will include the following examples of suppliers, Blue Sky Tours, Fun Jet Vacations, United Airlines Vacations, American Airlines Vacations, Southwest Airlines Vacations, um, TNT Vacations, uh, Apple Vacations is in there, uh, Travel Impressions is in there, anything that's in that way, okay? okay? What you need to do is you have to go to the Travel Cafe, you go to Forms, and it's in the top row, it's the last one in the top row, is the credit card authorization form. You download that. You present that to your client. All we need is the last four of the credit card uh, numbers on the card. That's it. Okay? And then we need a copy of the driver's license, copy of the credit card. Now, you, people always ask me, well, how do they do that? Well, it's very simple. You have Mr. or Mrs. Client, you take, have them phone, or take their phone, they take a photo of the driver's license and a photo of the credit card, they, they email those two elements to themselves, then they drop them in their um, desktop. And, or, you know, and then they can just email that to you with the credit card form, okay? And you, you will take that to credit card forms at archertravel.com. Credit card forms at archertravel.com, all right? So that's what you do with VAX. Now, for everything else, Expedia Tap, Agent Universe, Fair Grabber, Cruise Line, you're going to do that in your EvoTravelAgent.com website. You do that in your EvoTravelAgent.com Evo Evo website, forward slash whatever it is. Okay? So that's what you need to do. And you need to get that submitted right away. Okay? Now, you've already booked it. What I mean, what I mean by booked it is you've already been in contact with the cruise line. You've given them the, the credit card. Out. You've given them everything. You've purchased the travel for your clients. Now fill this out. Okay? I know some agents that do this process earlier on in, during the steps of the sale. They'll meet the client and they'll have them do it then, just to get it out of the way, which is a great idea. Um, and you can do this however you want to do it, but it must be done. This element must be done. All right? And this is protection for you and for your client. If the client goes, oh, I'm not going to, what do you need my driver's license for? Well, it's protection for you. Uh, Mr. Client, you know, do with everything that, you know, we're living in this cyber world where everything gets blown up, or, you know, three minutes with credit cards and hacking and things like that, that we're only going to charge this much to your credit card, not a penny more. And it protects you, the agent, okay, in case of fraud, right? So let's go. Next one. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so version one for VAX, Apple tra uh, Apple Trap. So here, here are the instructions. FunJet, United. Travel Cafe forms, there it is, CC authorization form, the form filled out, the last four numbers, CC number to be used, all the information on the form is filled out, security code, expiration copy of driver's license, and there it is, credit card forms at r2travel.com, credit card forms at r2travel.com, show credit card form from the Travel Cafe. Can we go to Travel Cafe? Are we going to do that? Okay, let's do that. So just give us one second here, and we're going to go to, there we are. So, okay, if we go down to forms, forms, click right there. And here we go. See? And there it is right up there. It's in the second row. I was wrong. It's in the second row. And just go ahead and click on that, Amanda, if you can. And there it is. You just download that and print it, give it to your client, have them fill it out. We only need the last four of the of the number. See, credit card number says last four only. Okay, so that's for VAX. Let's go back to the oh, no. All right, so let's go to the next slide. There we go. All right. Version number two for everything else. All cruise lines, Expedia Tap, Fair Grabber, Agent Universe. Clients will visit the Evolution Agent website, evotravelagent.com forward slash, whatever it is. Location of the credit card authorization tab on the Evo Agent site. 
I'll show you where that is. Uh, below the fair, it, where it is, it's below the fair grabber in yellow. You click the tab, fill it out, hit, hit submit. Inform and assist client. Use the golden rule. Okay, this is something that you're going to have to remember the golden rule. What we talked about in the first couple of back to basics. You must be in. Um, you must have a laptop or a desktop computer, and you must be either having a. Um, um, what's the um, Google Chrome as your web browser, or the other one is what is it? Uh, Fi Firefox, Mozilla Firefox. I'm sorry, there's all this other chatter out there. Right? I mean, it's like you know. Blah, blah, blah. No. <laughs> okay. Um, so tell your clients that that you need to have that if they're going to be you know going to your website. Don't tell your client, oh yeah, I have a website. You can do it on your phone, and he goes to your fair grabber and he tries to do something. That's not going to work. Okay? They must be on a computer, laptop, and they must be either be in Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, and do that. All right, laptop, desktop, Google Chrome, right? That's what it says there. There, do not use software. All right, let's show them the CC form at the EvilTravelAgent.com website. All right, so, no, there we go. We're going to go to the travel site. Oh, just click to the blue. Yeah, just click there. You should, or my booking portal. All right, so here we are, okay? And if you go to the right, that's the fare grabber, right below the fare grabber in yellow, right? And click there. And it'll have a little disclaimer. Okay, failure to submit the credit card claim means that you're personally liable for the payment of the trip. So make sure you see all that and then just fill it out. And now, the best way to do this is to call your, your client on the phone when they're at home and they're on, you know, in front of their system and walk them through it. It's only five minutes. I mean, not even five minutes. You can get this done like that. Just go, hey, you know what? Can you get online, go to my website? Oh, I didn't, you know, oh, you have a website? Yeah, and fill this out, and then hit submit. Clear signature, and then hit submit, all right? So that's that one, okay. So, uh, how to submit, okay. That's the credit card authorization form. Now, how to submit the booking and commission tracking form, and this is really important. We touched on this yesterday in the Archer Travel Tip of the Day, right? So, let's go to that. What's the next slide? Okay, what is the booking and commission tracking form? Well, to be paid your commission, you must fill out the booking and commission tracking form for everything travel related. Oh, wait. I have a question. <laughs> Trying to trick me, huh? I know. Who's it from? It's from Eric Brooker. Eric Brooker. Yes, Eric, what's your question? He says, what if a customer is making payments? Do they have to fill out a new form each time if the pay amounts are different each time? No, so let's say that you have a payment plan with like um, FunJet. You only fill out the credit card authorization form once. Okay, you don't do it for every payment. It's just once. Okay, um, and let's say that he's making payments on a two, you know three thousand dollar travel trip to, with has air and it's Contiki and he's we're, it's with FunJet, right? He's making payments. He only needs to fill it out once. Anything else? Okay, that's it for now. Thank you, Eric, for the question. All right, let's go to the next slide. Where is the booking and commission tracking form? Go to your Evolution Travel Agent back office. Click on Travel Cafe. Travel Cafe, click on Commissions. No, that's wrong. That's old, isn't it? No, 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 that's right. Evil Travel Agent back, which is called, uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's not called the back office. It's now called, uh, what is it called? No, no, in evotravelagent.com forward slash, it's called the... Uh, Evo Travel site? No, that's evotravelagent.com and uh, the dashboard. It's, oh, that's what it's called. John changed it. Yes. A uh, follow-up question from Eric. He says, what about Carnival Cruise? Oh, uh, what about... It's the same thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if they're making payments. If it's just like one cruise, okay, you only need to do it once. You know, let's say he, he bought a cruise for a, a seven-nighter out of Fort Lauderdale, right? And, and okay, but tell me posture of this. Uh, seven nighter after. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You guys are. Hold on a second, right? I could. They, Eric, let me answer your question. Okay, let's do any seven a nighter out of Miami, and he's going to Cozumel Mill or something, right? And he's making payments on it. The total amount of the cruise was two thousand five hundred sixty-eight. You only make one credit card authorization form, not for every payment. 
Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, question from Raquel. Raquel, I think on the Booking and Commission tracking form, do we need to complete this form for our own personal travel? No. If no, you don't. And I know this is kind of confusing, but if you are booking stuff for yourself, you do not need to fill out a travel, you know, a commission tracking form. Well, you do have to fill out a commission tracking form if you want to get commission. But for the credit card authorization form, you do not need to do that because we think you're not going to do fraud on yourself. So you don't need to do that. But you do need, you know, and I get a lot of questions from new agents like, can I book travel for myself? Of course you can. You can book cruises, all-inclusive tours, everything you want to do, and you can get paid commission on it. I usually find out when I started out as an agent that I would make more that way than asking for the travel agent rate. So I'd rather make more money than go, oh, okay, can I? Because usually sometimes when you work with a good company, like you know, with Archer, we have these preferred suppliers. Our, our commissions are higher than 10% on the majority of our suppliers that we work with in preferred suppliers. It makes sense to work with Vax. Why? You were getting paid 12, 13%. Why am I gonna book a room when I want the travel agent rate and I get 10% discount when I can make more money? See what I mean? Yes? I've got a lot of questions for you. Uh-oh. Four. Four questions. Uh-oh, you guys are trying to trick me. You're trying to trick me, Amanda. No, I'm scared. Go. Go ahead. All right, first one from Raisa Ann. What if you're doing car rental and you don't need their car? Do we still fill it out? If you're, if you're doing a car rental? Mm -hmm. and yes, yes. You, you need it for everything, okay? Now, on a car rental, it's different because they don't, they don't pay it out right away. Why? Because a car rental, they've known in the, mar in, in the business, right, that usually nine times out of ten, the client will hold the card for another day. That's, one, that's something that's really unusual. People don't spend another night in a hotel, but they will hold on to a car for another day or two. That's why you don't get the final billing until they return the car. But yes, you need that for that. You need the credit card authorization for that. All right, another question from Teresa Lawyer. What if they are using a different card for each payment? And you know what? I, I know Teresa very well. She does this just to, to, to mess me up. You know, <laughs> she's like, okay, I know, I, I'll fix him up. Okay, now, so let's say <laughs> they've got like 16. Okay, I'm going to put the cruise on this card. And we'll put the all-inclusive on this card. Yeah, just grab every single one that you need to. For everything that you book, grab that. Okay, make sure that you have something for it. It's going to protect you. Right. I hope that, that I hope that answered your question, Teresa. Okay. Uh, Larry Thomas had a similar question, so you answered it. And then another question from Lorinda Muhammad. So we put the total amount on the CC authorization, even if there are multiple different payments. Yes. Okay. So, like, if you're booking, let's say, in Funjet, and you're booking the Ryu Palace in Cancun. And the total price is $1,758.32. And the client makes $300 payment, $200 payment, da 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 da. You just put that price, that price on for that, all that, for that booking on one form. You don't need to do it for each consecutive one. Okay? To, now, Amanda, to, what do I do now? We go on? Oh, well, yeah, oh, when the booking, booking. I know that, I know that people are like, come on, pick it up, Jose, pick it up, pick it up. Uh, booking commission, what happens when the client pays for the, okay, when the client pays for the booking reservation? The, okay, what has happened, all right? They pay for it. This is what usually happens. They pay for a cruise, they pay for, you know, fun jet or something, right? The evolution agent will receive two emails, sometimes only one, okay? There's an agent copy of the booking and a client copy of the booking. Make sure that you email the client the client copy. Okay, I'm gonna say this again. Email the client the client copy. Why? Because on the agent copy, there might be like commission and bonuses and things like that that you don't want the client to know about. Use the information from the agent copy to fill out the booking and commission tracking form because you're gonna need that. It's got the booking number. And I'll show you an example. You guys book a lot of Expedia Tap. Expedia Tap's really good at this. When you when you get something and and you book a, a lot of Expedia Tap because it's quick and it's easy, 
and, it, and if you need like quick rooms for the weekend or something, you can do it really quickly. You book something, you book a hotel stay for two nights over this weekend, right? They, you pay for it, or, you know, you put everything down with the credit card, they email you an email verification of the booking. You use that email verification that has the itinerary number, that's your booking number, and you use that information to fill out the booking commission tracking form. Okay, next one. Uh, when do you fill out the booking and commission tracking form? Okay. This should happen after Evolution Agent receives final email verification that the booking is completed. This is part of the steps of the sale, and we're going to talk about that in the next couple of weeks, but I'm going to share where we're going next week. But it should be done. We get too many phone calls in this office going, yeah, I was there, I did, you know, my cruises are finally coming in. Yeah? When did you book it? Oh, about eight months ago. Did you fill out a booking and commission tracking form? Nah. Why? That's your money. That is your money. And we, uh, you know, oh, I don't know where those emails are to fill that out with. Oh, man, come on, you guys. It's part of the sale. Don't wait a day or two. Don't, and I know some of these bookings are going to take a while. I know you're going to be working hard. I, I've been working with a couple of agents this week on hotel group bookings, and, and I've had to tell them to go back to do more group hotel stuff to change it. So by the time you get it booked, you're like, okay, man, that was enough. Oh, I'll do the booking commission tracking form tomorrow, or I'll get to it next week. No. As soon as you get that email verification, just go in there and quickly do it, submit, boom, it's done. Yay. And then remember, you'll always get a, uh, an automatic email response from us that we got it, all right? Uh, when do you fill out the group booking commission tracking form? All groups must have committed travelers after Evolution Agent receives final email verification of the booking is completed. So both of these is when you should fill them. It's like, okay, hey, it's done, it's booked, okay? Especially with group bookings, because you guys do a lot of carnival, and there's always confusion about that. Because you work with, as soon as you, you've done the booking and you've gotten it with, you know, email verification from Carnival that you've set it in motion, right? Before you, you call Peggy to check on your reservation, do it then. Don't wait. Don't wait. Okay. Next one. Ten, oh, let's, Ron's video. Let's watch this video about marketing, okay? Because you're now all excited about doing travel. Today we're here to talk about ways to promote your own travel agency. People frequently ask me if travel agencies are dying off. They are not. Do you know that online travel agencies, Orbitz, Expedia, Travelocity, and more, make up approximately 43% of all the travel bookings and they account for $585 billion a year in travel? Independent brick and mortar travel agencies and other offline travel companies do 58% of the travel and they account for over $600 billion a year in travel and transportation sales. People tell me that they can book their own travel on the internet. Sure, no problem. People do their own cooking too, but there's 630,511 restaurants in the United States. There's over 40,000 insurance agencies in the United States and you can book insurance online too. As a matter of fact, insurance and travel are very similar in that they've been greatly impacted by the internet. People like to do their own travel, but they look to a professional to be able to give them a quality vacation that tells them where to go, what to do, what to eat, what to see, where to sleep, where to cruise, etc. So I'm here today to give you tips on how to promote and market your Archer Travel Agent program and generate your own clients in your own home-based business. The first and most obvious way that people promote their own travel business is by notifying friends, family, and your social network. People do this by sending emails, by posting on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, etc. Of course, some people pick up the phone and do it the old-fashioned way and call their friends and family and say, hey, next time you're going on vacation, give me a call. I can help you put together a wonderful vacation, the vacation of your dreams, and it's absolutely free of charge. You can let your family know that they can go to your website and see outstanding cruise and tour values, vacation specials, they can book air, hotel, and rental car packages right there from your website. The second way that you can advertise your travel business is through social media. Putting up specials on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, and, and other social media websites will gain you more followers, which are more business opportunities. That means all of those people who like your page are new client possibilities. 
Make sure that your Facebook page is always updated and fresh with unique ideas and fun vacations. Number three, attend public functions. Every community has a Chamber of Commerce mixer. Go to mixers, pass out your business cards. Always carry business cards in your wallet. When you go to football games, when you go to little league games, when you go to soccer practices, people are gonna ask you what you're doing. You're gonna talk about travel. People are gonna ask you, hey, what's it gonna to cost to go to Hawaii? How much is a cruise? You say, I don't know. Let me get back to my office. Let me get some information from you and I'll give you a price. In order to do that, you need to give them a business card. So make sure you're always carrying business cards. Make sure your website, again, is prominent on those cards and make sure that those people can get to you with their vacation requests. Number four, join a business networking group. There are groups all over the United States where people get together for breakfast or lunch, sometimes cocktails, and they will have meetings on how to promote each other's business. You talk about your business, they talk about theirs, and members of the group all agree that what they're going to do is promote each other's business. These networking groups typically only have one person from each industry or type of job or type of company. That means there's only one travel agent, one lawyer, one dentist, etc. So if you join a networking group, it's a great way for you to get other people to also be talking about your business as well. Number five is one of my favorite ways to promote the travel business, and that's by working with churches. Churches actually do a lot of travel. They do Bible study cruises, they do Holy Land tours, they support missionaries that travel throughout the world, and of course, their parishioners or their members love to go on vacation. Number six on the list is school travel. A lot of elementary schools send their children to state capitals. We have sixth graders in our area that go to Washington, D.C. every year. Also, we work with a lot of sports teams in schools that go to basketball tournaments, we do football games, we even charter buses for some of the football teams to go to some of their home games and some of their away games. We also work with a lot of universities where we do international student uh, study programs and where we have to help them with getting tickets to study abroad. A local high school in our area has 175 students going to a choir competition in Chicago next year. That booking alone is worth $175,000 at about a 15% commission. So school travel can also be very lucrative. When you handle group programs for schools and sports teams, you also get exposure to parents and school employees when they want to go on their personal vacations. So schools can be very beneficial to promoting your travel business. Youth sports programs are also a great way to promote your travel business. My nephew has over 500 kids in a youth soccer program here in this area, and he does six to eight tournaments a year throughout the United States where we send 20 to 30 kids. Our company also sponsors a Little League team. And you gotta remember, Little League teams' scores are published on a weekly basis in the local newspapers. Oftentimes, you look in the newspaper, it says, Archer Travel 6, Fire Department 4. So every week, our company is mentioned in the local newspaper showing our support for the local community. And we actually get a lot of interest and a lot of inquiries based on that sponsorship. I've also sent teams to the World Series, the, the Little League World Series, as well as to other types of competitions throughout the world. Number eight up on the list are sports bars and restaurants. Sports bars are a great way to promote your travel business. There are over 45 sports bars in the Los Angeles area that support the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have put together programs for these fans to go to a Pittsburgh Steelers home game every season. So therefore, we've got 20 to 30 people that are going back on a trip across the United States for air, hotel, and rental cars, as well as team tickets to get into the game. We also promote Super Bowl cruises through sports bars and restaurants. Every year we get between 250 and 300 people from those bars or restaurants that go on the Mexico weekend cruise on Carnival Cruise Lines and have a great time. Number nine on the list is have a travel party. People love to party. You can serve Mai Tais and Poo Poo's and you can also go to a local store and get plastic lace. You guys can all wear Moo Moo's and really get into the travel spirit. This is a great way to let people know that you're now in the travel business and you'd like to help them with their next vacation. Last but certainly not least on the list is businesses. 
Call on every company in your area and ask them if you can help them with their airline tickets, their hotels, and their rental cars when they're sending salespeople out on sales calls or mechanics out to fix machinery. Or if they're sending a crew out for an installation of a new restaurant. Or if they have a real estate team that's going out looking for new locations. Businesses can also be a great source of meeting and incentive travel because they want to reward their salespeople by giving away trips and travel. We also help businesses go to meetings and conventions all over the world and they buy a lot of travel because they send a lot of people. You can also promote to those business employees your vacation travel services. Anybody that's using you for your business travel is also a perfect target for their employees when they're thinking about going on their vacations. So here's a list of 10 ways in which you can market your own travel agency. And this is just a drop in the bucket of all the ways you can actually promote your business. As a member of the Archer Travel Agent Program, you can work directly with myself and my staff and we can help you to put together flyers and marketing plans in which you can market your own travel agency to these businesses and more. We hope you'll join the program and we look forward to working with you. All right, some great information was in that video. Um, that video is in um, uh, YouTube and it's also in our um, Evolution Travel Cafe when you leave the back office under webinars and training. Those are some really, really good hints. Now, I wanna to touch on a couple of other things. Can we go to the next slide, Amanda? Okay, marketing your travel business. Evolution Travel's really good, um, Nina and Tony and Nikki Lee and all of them in creating a real good social media for you guys. They are the pros in social media marketing, how to do it in Facebook, how to recruit, how to bring in clients, how to do all that. And that's great, and they, and they show it because we see, we see how much business we're getting from it. And that's really great. They use Facebook, they use Instagram, they use all that stuff, okay? I'm a little bit more from the old school, so let's go to the next slide. That's great, but when you're not getting any action on Facebook and the phone's not ringing and you're not getting any emails, one of the things you need to do is get out there. And what I mean is, you know, let everyone you know know that you're doing travel now. Family members, friends, associates, everyday people that you encounter. Well, what do you mean, Jose? Well, I'll show you an example. You have a mail carrier that goes by. You probably have known this mail carrier for 15 years. All right, or your auto mechanic that you always like every seven months you have to give them money for an oil change or anything that's happening to you, you go to the same mechanic. It's really simple and don't go into that whole, I'm an evolution agent, you know, I'm doing travel now. No, just say, hey, you know what, Bill? If you ever have any questions about a cruise, I'm doing travel now, here's my card, call me. And then Bill go, hey, you know what? My brother and his wife are looking for a cruise. See, that's how you can get it. And they know you already because they have that working relationship. Same thing when you go to your dry cleaner or when you go to the supermarket. You go to the same supermarket, everybody knows you. You know those cashiers, and they're, they're union. Here in Los Angeles, they're union. They just got another raise. They like to go on cruises too. So everybody that you know, if you are a, uh, if you are a parent that have children and you go to PTA, that's a win-win. All you have to do is go to the PTA meeting and just yell out, going, if anybody wants any information about Disney cruises, come see me. All right, so that's what I'm talking about, everyday people that you encounter. Like in the video, it said, throw a travel party. Just like you do for recruiting agents, remember? There's a whole webinar on uh, how to recruit agents. This is just for travel, though, with travel brochures and videos. And don't make a big deal about it. Have a carnival party. Carnival has all those brochures and videos. You can get all those. Now, look, you got to give yourself some time. Don't think, okay, I'm going to have a travel party in two weeks, so I'm going to rush and get them. No. Get your, be prepared. First, get the brochures, get the videos. I'll sh I can show you how to do that. We can show you how to get all those on. And it just doesn't need to be carnival. It can be for Disney. It can be for anything that you want to promote and, and get out there and market. Now, next week, what we're going to touch on is how to fight off the OTAs. And you're like, what's an OTA, Jose? That's an online travel agent, an online travel agency, okay? What we're talking about there is Priceline, uh, Travelocity, Expedia. Because remember in the, in the booking, like what we just showed you in the fair quote, you know, what happens when in that process of the fair quote, the client comes to you and goes, well, wait a minute, you know, you're showing me a carnival cruise here for, you know, $1,250, but 
when I go on Travelocity, it only shows me a thousand two hundred, you know, a thousand and fifty dollars. How come it's two hundred dollars cheaper? We're gonna solve all that. I'm gonna show you how you solve that. Okay? So that's it on that. Do we have any Q and A? Yeah, let's go to Q and A. Let's go to Q and A. Anything, Miss? Um, Andrea Bennett says I need help on doing travel parties. Andrea Bennett. Okay, Andrea Bennett, give me a call. All right. Give me a call, and there's my there's my phone number right there, and there's my email address. So just call me, okay? Now, now, if you're in the UK or something like that, or if you're in Australia, no, it's the other. It's the other. All right, it, it's, it's the other. just just give me a call or send me an email, and I'll help you with that. It's it's really simple. Don't don't overthink it. You know, just you know, for for less than twenty dollars, you can go to the ninety nine cent store. You buy three four bottles of, of soda couple of bags of chips, get everything together, boom. You're gonna to start getting bookings. Okay, any else? Oh yes, um, from Jenny Collins, how to book travel for the Netherlands. Okay, how to book travel for the Netherlands. How, okay, what kind of travel are we talking about? Are we talking FIT, are we talking group? When are we going? We just did one yesterday uh, in the, um, um, on, on the Wednesday call that we did, um, <clears throat> training session, we did geography. In the Netherlands, where? How many nights? What do they want? What time of year do they want to go? Okay, when you say, how do you do travel, what you need to do is go to your client and first, what? Qualify. Get to know their travel needs. So that's what we're going to need to do. Call me and I'll show you. I'll point you in the right direction and we'll start from there. All right, another question from Raquel. How soon does an agent need to sign up for e Right away, right away. The you know is in the travel cafe. It's the very first thing on on your right hand side. You'll see it right there. So you should be getting into that right away. All recruiters and sponsors that are bringing new agents into Evolution Travel, please, please have your new agents get the E&O insurance, errors and omissions insurance. That's going to solve you and just make you feel that much better protected when you start booking and start making your business grow. Another question from Cambiar. Can any agent have a travel party to get new agents? That's, yeah, that's, you know, for you new agents that have just been recruited, you know, you're all on a team. Um, and you have some great team leaders out there. Tony Ward, Nikki Lee, Frederick Howell, um, um, Amy Urube in, uh, in Texas. Uh, um, oh, gosh. Um, Miss, Miss Abel Vance, uh, it's Thursday. They are great team members. They can show you how to do that. They have actual webinars and, and, and meetings. And, and, and So get involved with your, up, um, your sponsor, your recruiter, and they can show you how to do that. Okay? Is that it? That's it for now. What? Oh, we have two pop quiz questions. Okay, yes, that's right. We have two. Okay, let's see who, let's see if you learn a lot. Okay. If you have a client, um, making um, payments on an all-inclusive on Funjet, and he has to make uh, six payments, um, you know, on this booking, he has to make six payments. How many credit card authorization forms does he need to fill out? Mm -mm -mm -mm. How many? Commission and tracking forms. No, I said how many? What? If, if, if. If a client makes five payments on a booking, how many commission and charges? No, 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 it wasn't that one. That's the next one. Oh, sorry. All right, see, I was right. Now, I'll repeat the question. Your client's on FunJet. They're making payments, right? He has to make five payments on a $1,200 thing to, you know, Punta Cana. How many credit card authorization forms does he need to fill out? Jennifer Whitehead says one. That's correct. Jennifer Whitehead in, in England. She's got it correct. That was, that was lying. We beat us again. Okay, Everybody the other question. All right. If you are booking, um, I can't even read my right. Oh, okay. If you're booking um, your client's travel, um, hey, if you're booking your client's travel, right? And let's say, you know, you booked a, you know, an all-inclusive, then he wants a cruise, then he wants a, how many um, credit card authorization forms? Do you need to fill out? No, no, no. How many commission forms do you need to fill out? Let's say you got a client and you built, a, a, you know, you went on a cruise, you went on an all-inclusive. So how many of those do you need to fill out? Booking commission tracking forms. Let's say there were three things. Does he only fill out one, or does he need to fill out three? One. 
No. No. If oh, you everybody's saying one. No. One for each from Donna Fontaine. That's right. One for each. Thank you, Donna Fontaine. Thank Come you. Yeah. <laughs> we should do that. You know, we should do a show, a quiz show. All right, and we'll, and we'll play with everybody, and that'll be fun. And we'll get a prize. I'll talk to Reggie about it. All right, you guys, that's it for this week. I will talk to you next week, uh, and next week's going to be a good one. How to fight the OTAs. Listen, I know when I started in the business, I used to get burnt by, you know, Travelocity and, and uh, Priceline, and, uh, and, I, and I really had to find something about it. And I do. we've got some great stuff, some great tips to show you how you can keep your clients really, really happy, all right? Have a great week. Book plenty of travel, recruit many, many new agents, and I'll see you next week.